More fun than movies, this is Trailer Told, a YouTube channel in the world. Thank you for clicking. Check out the playlist for a different video. Subscriptions are a big boost. I'm like, okay, I'm going to quit my job to focus on Keelworks full time and give this a final push. Nobody's going to come and just throw money at you. The fact that Konami understood what we were trying to do with Signy was very important to us. I'm Meher Kalenderian, I'm Chief Executive of Keelworks. So I founded Keelworks together with my brother Narek and uh, Helen. Narek and I, uh, we grew up in Lebanon originally. I usually run the business side of things and Narek does all the actual production work. He's a 3D artist and self-taught 3D artist. We had another company, so we did work together. And so we were a, a, a team of two um, and, and it worked fine and we were, we were doing quite well. Um, later on, I moved to Scotland when we decided to start Keelworks together with Helen. Helen is also a very good artist. She's done the concept art of, of Signy, as well as 3D um, models. And um, also, for example, she's done, she programmed all the bosses in, in Signy. Design is so much fun. Yeah, the design. Concept art, animation. I, mean, I guess everything, yeah. everything that we want. Everything has to do with, <laughs> with art. <laughs> with art that we would like yeah. to do, yeah. Like the sculpting, modeling, uh, texturing, animation. The purpose of, of starting the company was not to make uh, money. I know that sounds quite uh, weird when, it, when I talk to my business colleagues, but when we started it, I had a full-time job. I was the only person living in Scotland and they were still based in Lebanon. There were a lot of protests and a lot of uh, issues. There was always war breaking out uh, at any minute, you never know. So that eventually the idea was to, okay, we're not, we're gonna get out of there and we're just gonna come into a place where it's stable. And at least it gives us some, some moment of pause and breather so we can live what you would call a we're, normal life. Yeah, work <laughs> comfortably life. <laughs> without worrying about all these other things. We had a lot of power cuts um, and we had, as a result, we had private generators. Uh, so you get like over 20 hours of power cut a day. And so you have to get generators, so you, get, you have two bills to pay. Uh, usually generators also don't work 24 hours. So, you know, that you have to get then uh, truck batteries, which we had in our flat. I used to, sh when I used to share a flat with Narek, we used to have those in the balcony. And I remember once they caught fire, which was not very nice. I also remember how Narek, when he was rendering his, his 2008 demo and the power cuts at five o'clock in the morning, you have a few minutes to run down the building, switch on the generators, go back up again, save and shut down, and then until the electricity comes back again. And this happened every single day. One, one thing led to another and we ended up deciding, well, okay, Armenia is a good place. Uh, it's stable, at least at the at time, the time, what, the time at was. The time. Uh, it was stable, great, great infrastructure, power, uh, internet connection. Hey, that, that's, let's go there temporarily. And let's continue working on the project and, and see how it goes. A few months later, the war started in Armenia with Azerbaijan. So I'm like, great, so what's next? The aim was that Narek and Helen would move eventually to Scotland. But in order to do that, I needed to secure a deal. We understood from the beginning that nobody's gonna come and just throw money at you and say, you know what? Uh, uh, here's unlimited cash, unlimited time, go do whatever you want, especially that we're just newcomers in the, in the, in the gaming industry. Signy, however, was our practical project. It was something that we, were, we are both passionate about, but also we understand that, that it's something that we could do with a small, relatively very small team, and at the same time, uh, something that practically can be done with a very limited time, and that we're talking about a year and a half, tops two years. We had prepared actually two games initially, two prototypes. One was a bigger game and the other one was, in parallel, was Signy, which was meant to be a smaller kind of game. Everybody at that time were after mobile games or VR games. This was around the 2018 uh, period. So we wanted to do everything we can to get our foot in the door. And then we wanted to create PC games and console games. That's what we wanted to do, but we had to, to, to kind of do everything it takes to put our foot in the door. We went to uh, some folks and they told us, well, all right, that's cool, but guess what? The trend these days are mobile phones. So if you'd get to do a Signy version of prototype or mobile games, 
uh, the, uh, the unspoken sort of like indirect talk would be like, okay, we might be able to fund the, the actual PC version that you want to make, but let's see you make a mobile version first. So we created Signy mobile version. We showed it to some friends. They were very happy. They're like, okay, this is great. We can see the potential for this to be a PC game. I'm like, we know, <laughs> but we, you know, we just need to get in the, to, to get things moving. And then we were talking to different publishers and there was this massive publisher that I was talking to and they wanted to only talk to us if we had a VR game. So I said, yeah, we have a VR game called Signy and Nadek said, every single bone in my body is telling me this is not a good idea. And I said, well, we can have a VR mode. So uh, that's how I managed to get this publisher to uh, take us seriously and to talk to us. So they asked us to do a playable demo for Signy VR. And then, you know, we, we went back and Nadek and Helen worked on this VR playable demo for a few minutes of Signy. And you can see Helen playing playing this with the, with, with the headset on. It, it looked actually quite cool. We went Silent Hill and we used fog to cover all uh, we, uh, yeah, the yeah, we edges. used <laughs> <laughs> so we, we couldn't do, of course, obviously, we couldn't, we didn't want to do a whole landscapes and, and extended uh, cityscapes. So we ended up putting fog all around. So just everything just sort of fades into the fog. And then there was this was scene, I remember in the beginning, where you have this large uh, legs coming in from the top, the tripod legs, mm. and they're about to land. Uh, and we, or, we already had animated that well from, from all the, from the sky down to the bottom. And when you, when you reach that point, you see a shadow on the ground. So we, ex we exaggerated that shadow. And we ended up sort of, uh, having, if you looked up while that shadow came in, you go like, okay, what's that shadow on the ground? You look up and you see these large claws coming down and landing right in front of you. And then that ship just, it, the whole thing just really worked. We did the playable demo and went back to the, the, this publisher and long time back and forth. It took nine months and they couldn't give us an answer. I got so frustrated. I said, come on, like you cannot just drag on a small team, a small company, and this is all expenses from our own pockets. And it didn't work out. Um, and we decided to go back to the drawing board and say, okay, we're gonna do now what we always thought was, would be good and let's do another demo for Signy. Let's recreate this, uh, but this time what we originally wanted, which was for PC. And then a few months later, the pandemic hit. So I'm like, great, what a way to start your business. But there's COVID and there's all that going on. But at the same time, we don't have anything concrete yet on paper while well, we're gonna start production. During this period, I was like, okay, pandemic started, but I still need the strategy. I'm done chasing publishers, trying to prove a point. So what we do is we will put ourselves out there and get publishers knocking on our door. This idea came up because when I was also talking to publishers, other than the fact that, yeah, you need to have track record of published titles, they were after uh, online traction. And I'm like, what does online traction mean? Tell me numbers. Like, oh, you know, it likes, you want wish lists? Like, yeah, wish lists. I'm like, okay, so how, how many wish lists? I asked around three publishers, can you give me guidance what this is? And actually all of them told me they wanted around 3,000 wish lists for Signy. This is the realistic number. I'm like, okay. At, at this stage, I didn't even know what that meant, whether it was achievable or not. But we believed in our in our pro product and we I, we didn't have a choice. We had to we have to do it in, in this way. During the times when we were preparing our playable prototype, we had applied for Epic Mega Grant, and we were very happy to have received uh, Epic Mega Grant during the times when we needed it most, and during the times when we were actually struggling to do this on the side, prepare the prototype to pitch for publishers. And the timing was so, so perfect when Epic came and, and, and uh, granted us the, the Epic Mega Grant. Not once, they did it twice. And th those two times actually were for different purposes. And that was one of the kind of contributors to us being able to cover some of the costs in order to achieve the playable demo. During this time, I prepared a, a marketing plan. And I'm not a marketing person, but you know, <laughs> we did our best. We had the playable prototype ready, which was entirely done by Nadeg and Helen from programming to art. Um, and we created this edit of a trailer and got a deal with IGN exclusive. The media actually saw the potential of our game more than the publishers did, which was amazing to, to see. So the media actually helped us 
um, uh, move forward and IGN exclusive then we were featured in a PlayStation magazine as the top 10 stories people are talking about and we we're number eight we didn't even have a game so that was actually quite uh, quite interesting we were featured in wireframe magazine we were featured in other news as well and within a week we got four times more wish lists than what we we thought we would get we got over 11 around the 12,000 wish lists. That was the moment where we knew that there is something here that people actually do relate to, they like it. Um, and, and that's where we managed to get lots of publishers knocking on our door. The plan was a success. Uh, and we had, that's when we started talking to Konami. We've, ne we've never experienced this much positivity coming from a, from a big company like Konami. They, they were very, very passionate about the project. And that's something that we tremendously value and we are uh, you know, very, very thankful for. We had this feeling that continuing with Konami would be the right thing to do. The fact that Konami understood what we were trying to do with Signy was very important to us. We knew that we knew it was going to be a challenge for these guys, um, but we knew they were up for it. That was why we were really keen to work with them. Thank you.